How did Jesus save us on the cross? A lot of people imagine it happened like this. The death on the cross is the big catastrophe, but then, thank God, the resurrection puts everything right again. Phew, that was close. Jesus conquered death. Hooray! But that's not how salvation works. Salvation actually takes place on the cross. The cross is the sign of redemption. So what happened on the cross? This scale can be seen as representing the just and proper relationship between God and men. With sin, everything is thrown off balance. And what did we say sin is? It's the lack of something that ought to be there. Injustice is a lack of justice. Jealousy is a lack of generosity, and so on. Sin, then, is the lack of something that ought to be there. And in the end, it is always a lack of love toward God or His creation. Good, or rather, bad. So, how do we remedy this lack of something? Well, it is remedied by supplying whatever is lacking. If sin is a lack of love, then it is remedied with an act of love. All right, let's go. Hmm. Our human love doesn't seem to weigh enough to balance out the depth of ingratitude and lovelessness we find in sin. Our love seems to be too weak. It will take something bigger. It will take a more perfect love. And the love of Jesus is exactly this kind of love. He is the Son of God. He is not merely the love of a man, but the love of the second person of the Blessed Trinity. This love is infinite, and it is manifested in the act of Christ's self-giving on the cross. This love has the weight to counter all sins of all men of all time. The cross, then, isn't a failure. Neither is it, as Martin Luther, the father of the Protestant Reformation, understood it, a lightning rod for the wrath of God, who strikes his very own son as punishment for our sins. God doesn't have to vent his anger so that we may be spared from his just punishment. No, the cross is the sign of God's love, and this is exactly where its saving power comes from. The perfect love of Christ on the cross weighs more than all the lack of love in all the sins of all men of all time. That is how redemption works. That is how the mountain of sin that separates us from God is overcome. That is how we are delivered from the hopelessness of sin.